Hello, my friends. So welcome back to the paper pad series that I'm doing. Uh, today we're going to pull embellishments, etc. for pages 6 through 10. So I have this lovely Dear Lizzie set of goodies. I think all three are Dear Lizzie. They sure look like it. So I have corals and peach and navy and all that kind of thing. So it is always so warm in my scrap room. I just had to take off my sweatshirt. Okay, so let's start the program the way we have been. Now, I like the navy in this a lot. Ooh, and I also have peach here and dark coral. I'm going to, I'm telling you, it was the first one on here. That's pretty funny. Okay, going to pull that. Next, let's go ahead and see if I have any of those random washi pieces. I'm having to do a little reaching. I haven't scrapped at all since I've done this with you. All right, so this has kind of like holographic-y kind of silver foiling. So, I mean, I first looked at this and that's not really gonna do it as it has um, some of the copper color. And I really like the idea of bringing out the navy, so that's not gonna work, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I wanna make sure you can kind of see what I'm seeing without these drawers and stuff taking over as well. So that didn't work. Ooh, is this navy? That is navy, look at this. Look at this giant gossamer blue. I like to use that packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put that towards the bin where I keep all my packaging. But that navy is awesome. Do I want? To bring in the yellow more. See how there's yellow in this? Navy and yellow could be like a thing with a coral, right? All right, so I use that whole thing. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Now, next, you guys know I have this handy dandy little whatever package. So, oh, see, the gold isn't going to work with that. I've got these two faux sequins here. Got a little pink fresh arrow. This is too blue. There's not a whole lot in here. Oh, another faux sequin, which makes that work even better. All right, oh, what's this? And I have a navy little plus sign, cool. Let's see what we have in this little orangey coral kind of thing. Bloom where you're planted is cool, and I have one bloom. That is too orange to work. Do I have any yellow? since we're kind of going every which way with this. I do have one yellow heart, one yellow sequin, and I think these are just too light of a yellow for what I'm kind of going for here. Now, and she's holding a pink cupcake. I'm not feeling that. Now this is kind of cool. Look at this. This has 90% of those colors in it. Cool. That's just been kicking around since the dawn of time. That's too black. Is that even possible for me to not want black on here? I know. Okay, so that's that. just that funny little bin I have, right? Come on, get out of my way. Okay, I have that, that, that. Now what? What do we want to use? Oh, I have these bins. These bins full of who's it, what's it's. All right, so that's like mac and cheese yellow. That's not gonna work. Let's see what's in with these chipboard frames. Is this the right tone? That works. Gigantic pink fresh chipboard. Um, that's more of a minty mint. Nope, but hey, one giant frame. Cool. I have a hard time using the chipboard frames. I do, I do. All right, so that's a lot more vintagey. This is pretty, some of the pieces in here. And, oh, it's kinda, see, it's just so, it's super pretty, like super, super pretty. But people, that gets kinda specific with the cream and all that too. And that, yeah, different vibe. Different vibe. Lots of Vicky Booten sitting in here more of a bright blue as opposed to, is that the, is the navy working or is it more of a bright blue? Nah, it's a little brighter. Like it's like almost like that black navy color in this. 
that floral collection won't work but isn't it pretty it's so pretty let's see well here's dear lizzie does this dear lizzie you know what i think i want to do with it i want to put it on the very top so when i see one of the page kits coming up i can build it around this because it's so gorgeous but the colors are super bold okay so let's see what's my oh i have a piece of this packaging stuff from something else i can get this little yellow sticker on there let's see what else is in here hmm giant yellow sticker the flower medium yellow sticker and then way up here is another yellow sticker let me see there's another yellow. I have room to put that on there. <laughs> Always fun to zip on through. See what Vicky Booten goodies I have. Okay, I have that other bin. And then I'll have to decide if I need to pull more die cuts, all that kind of thing, because I don't know. Yes, there we go. Can we see it all? We can see it all. We're doing okay. All right, so I have one yellow puffy butterfly. Seems a bit random, but I'm gonna go for it, okay? Felicity Jane stuff. Let's see. I literally just saw like a little yellow labely thing. This pink fresh is like, yeah, it's just colors are a little off, not bad. A little off, not bad. Why does everything feel kind of awkward today? You know why? Because I have a bin on my desk that I don't need on here. Let me move that out of the way. So I can't maneuver right. Okay, there we go. Now I can flip through a little bit better. I saw this little yellow puffy here. I'm going to put that down. And I think that's going to be it for those. Let's see. You said no to that. That is gorgeous gold so that's not really gonna work these are gonna be really tr tough to find um, things that will work with that this is gorgeous black and gold look at that great purple color now some of these things like these I can put into my cut apart drawers you know if I just cut them up and I might have to do that because unfortunately I'm, I haven't been using them Hmm. How do we feel about putting some of this silver in? These are zipper pulls. I'm going to do that because I have like silver holographic. That's gorgeous, but too light. Ooh, look at this. I have a Dear Lizzy little puffy house. Stay, stay. It's a little cute puffy house and it has some of the correct colors on it. Cute and it's Dear Lizzy. Oh, and this bonjour, which I cannot say, speak in French, so excuse that, works. That little navy. Oh, look, it looks like the same collection. It has the same little curse. I can put this little moped in there. Huh. Well, that kind of worked. Thank you once again, Sarah Scraps, for your hand-me-downs. No, thank you. I had a hard time using these. Did you guys? I like them, but I don't like them. It's one of those things. That is, these are Love and Lemon. I love Love and Lemon, but rather gold. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of picking up Fuzzy Socks is cute. Eh, mm, eh. We'll see what happens. There's kind of a navy-ish. Kind of a yellow chipboard circle. I mean, they're just, yeah, not great. And that has purple in it, so it's I'm not really feeling that. Let me get rid of the packaging. That is gold. Nope, nope. I should just leave this out on my desk during the whole kit and try to use it. Like, during the whole time I'm scrapping with this. That might be a big goal. So these have a lot of great colors. Are the yellows? Eh, the yellows are close enough. So let me grab the For You and the Smiley Face. Let's see, there's room right there. 
And I have no problem using the fronts and backs on these. Like, why not? Right? Let's see. And so that's a little bit more rose gold. I ended up with two sets of these. And I've used them pretty well, but it is definitely specific tones. Love me some Chamel hearts. Oh, and then these are all of those, like, really hope I can use them up things. Now, uh, the yellow's off on that, but actually I like that one. That's royal blue. Let's see. Let's see. See, that's more royal, too. Very cool, though. And I still haven't used up these little um, pieces, or these little paints. I used everything up, but the little paints, that's kind of weird. Great Alpha, again, really vintage Amy Tan, 2013, but still cool, huh? That I think it was, yeah, Father's Day collection. So cool. These are sticky notes from Gossamer Blue. Huh. I like the red. Like, these are the kind of things that I end up cutting up and putting in my color drawers. That's too vintage-y looking. Hmm. I like the idea of one my big title coming from here. I'm going to put the whole thing in. And like I've told you guys before, that I go ahead, after I use it, I move it. Like, these bins will be empty. I'll move it into um, one of these bins, and every time I'm looking for something, I'll go there first. So it really does work out, and I get a lot more used when I do it that way. Uh, nope. This is such a tricky color palette to try to work on. Mm. Ah, that's spelled wrong. Perfect is spelled wrong. That's funny. Right, all kinds of geo tags in pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Both of these colors match. Those are going on my kit. I don't have any idea where that was from. No idea. Total mystery. But like, I literally don't remember ever seeing those in my life. That is so funny. This yellow is really pretty, but it is more of a buttery yellow, and I have like a lemony ye yellow. I couldn't say yellow. Okay. And I'm going to look in my die cuts next, just for a second. Okay. Not bad traction on this one, by the way. Look at this. That is not bad. I have all kinds of these really great pieces. I like this whole bloom where you're planted kind of thing. So I don't know if the feather is going to work in. I actually I have no idea what's going to work in. I've got some metal in there. I have chipboard, washi labels, a little puffy. Okay. So let me do a quick look. Now, this is an older pink fresh collection. Oh, totally royal blue, really bright, bright color. So I love it. It's just not going to be part of this party. These labels are all kind of like purpley. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go back through Vicky because we keep rolling through the Vicky Booten collection stuff. And I don't know why it is flipped like that. So let's go like this. Anything work? You yeah, see, I think the Vicky Booten cannot hang out as well with, um, I mean, I do have some things, but it has a harder time hanging out with your Lizzie. Let's see. Let's see if these pink fresh goodies can now. Maybe I'll just have those be the next set of goodies up on my desk. So I've been doing that. So, so pretty. Actually, ooh. Let me see. I don't know where you can see that well, so I'll go like that. A lot of these might work. I love the purpley tones, but really not going to work for this. Lazy days and sun rays are the right colors. Sun. See, it would go if it weren't for the gold right there. The periwinkle doesn't work. Oh my, come on. Hmm. hmm. Yep, that works. That works. Yet more lemons. Lemons seem to be the theme right now. That works. That works. Okay, a lot of this works so beautifully. Just got to take out the periwinkle a little bit in the pink. Not hard to do. Go like that. Take out anything with gold because that's not working. No gold. 
no pink, and no periwinkle. Otherwise, this collection is quite a win. There's lots of transportation stuff on here, so I might be able to even get that bicycle in. All right, this looks like it's kit number six is done. Let me grab out an old Quick Kits bag. You get all of these goodies on top. And so what I'm hoping, 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 to have all these kits together before Nicole releases her class, which is why I initially started thinking about doing this. And then I went rogue because I couldn't help myself, which is not a shock to myself about myself. Come on, little guys. Everybody get in. I'm going to slide this in. I told you guys this is page kit number six. I love the colors. I love that I used bits and pieces of things that I've already used. Let's see what our next kit is. Okay, let's see. Now, one moment, let me grab it. All right. Now we have extremely rose gold, which I know that's gonna be embellishments. We've got black and aqua. All right, so rose gold, black and aqua. Okay, let's see what I might be able to use. So let's pull a flat alpha that goes with rose gold, black, and aqua, <laughs> which is quite a combo. And it white always works if I want to kind of do a little bit of a cheat. Not that it's a cheat, it's just easier. Let's see, let's see. Lots of gold gold when I'm looking. Let's see, let's see. Bright, bright, bright. That's when I've got all the Studio Calico stuff. Very nice purple. Pink. Hmm. These are almost too shiny. Sometimes I like some shine and sometimes I'm not feeling it as much. Those are so specific. They look like a little girl um, alpha. They're cute. Let's see. Hand me down Elfas. Those are amazingly bright. So these are interesting. You know what? I wonder if I should use these. I don't even know where they came from. It's American Crafts. They're called Friends Glitter Stickers. And the glitter in it totally picks up an aqua tone. So to me, that seems like a good plan because yeah, I'm getting like pinky and aqua glitter within the white. So I'm okay. Cool. All right. So I have an aqua white glitter. That makes sense. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. I know. I did say to self, I wanted to see if this would work with anything coming up. And there's my color palette right there. Cool. Okay. So let me think like that. So that's really gold. I can't use that. I'm going to have less and less in here I can use. And I know that and that's fine. Um, Because these are all like multicolors. Did I have... Yeah, I had yellow on my last one. I didn't get this little lemon in. Let me just throw that in. So these colors... I mean, they have like so many different variations that you can use. So I can put that in. Can't put the gold. I can put that in. Let's see. Since I did sneak in a little bit of the light pink already, I can just sneak in a little bit of that. But I'm trying to keep this great periwinkle color for like something all at once. Let's see. I can probably, nope, can't sneak the gold in. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. Used a bunch of the pink fresh just now. That's awesome. Um, I can use that because I did get a little of the pink snuck in. Hmm. Ooh, what about this? Eh, that, that's too baby blue, which is fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, let's get a couple of these in here. One, two, three just because I've had these forever and I have not used them in forever. And let's go ahead and grab a 
few of the magenta color ones. And then I do have that periwinkle color in here too. Come on. It's like one of those things that like once you get it out of the packaging, are you ever getting it back in? I don't know. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have Dear Lizzie chipboards like crazy. Um, not gonna bring in brown. Let's see. So the pink I have going right there is a really hot pink. So let's work with some of the hot pink. Ooh, I've got some bling. That's cool. Oh, and look at, I have some enamel shapes. Okay. TGIF, who knows? Um, oh, and here is a couple more of these little pink sequiny looking things. So that's cool. Got that in. Um, I do have new, 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 new. Okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Oh, I didn't get my washi. Let's see if there is an opportunity for washi, which there's got to be. Look at all these great colors. There's got to be something. So let's see. Since we started, we had Dear Lizzie. There's navy. Um, let's see. Wait, you know what I want to do? Let's see where I am with this one first because this one's a lot more used up. Nope, dark green. New. I can use this coral color. That can get put in as well as this coral color here. Okay. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. I like the idea of using up a book if I can before I go to the next one. So I have washi, both in a nice coral tone. So did get some of my mixed color washi. Now let's bring in, all right, and I have lots of chipboard, which is great. Now let's go ahead and see I have that. Oh, and in case I need it, remember I was saving these things? A little something I like to do. So these are all looking too bold for what I have. Cute little puffies with, I have two dogs, a cat, a rainbow, okay. These are, yep, more die cuts and they're mostly wintry. So I'm not gonna grab those out yet. Pink brush, super bold. Let's see, oh, and rem I have to remember I have rose gold. So that's gonna give me some specific rules for that too. So the wild and free, that's almost like a strawberry color. It's really pretty. Ew, look at this for rose gold. So I have all of these hearts here in rose gold. I've got some pink stickers. I mean, yes, a lot of this will not work, although there's that periwinkle I keep carrying on about. So I think I'm gonna put this sticker book in with this and most of my kit is gonna be done. I, I, let me see, do I bring in anything else? Hmm. Those are on gold. Nope. Let's see. I'm so excited about that. Okay. On here, I'm going to just go ahead and grab this says, You are the best. You rule. And then this pink one here. So I have three kind of like shiny puffies. I like when that happens. Oh. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use these rub-ons, but not the gold part, but I'm gonna keep it together because ee, if it doesn't stay together, I don't think it'll go well. Okay. And let's see, those are there. And let me just go ahead and get like three of this really nice bright pink and puffy stickers and hearts. And there's three different kinds and I think that will look adorable, okay. And I might pull the plug on it already. Do I have enough? I feel like I have a lot. Yeah, I feel good about it. And remember I said, I'm not gonna be putting in um, enamel dots unless, unless, oh, I wanted to bring these into my goodies too. Unless they're just like goodies that um, 
I have one or two left of here and there. Let's see. These are Heidi Swap self-adhesive photo corners. And I wanted to try to finish using them. Do I have any more of that hot pink? Let's see. I have, ooh, there's one. So I'm gonna put hot pink as well as um, that aqua and see what I can use. But thing number five million I'd like to use up. Like, look at that neon green. That's gonna be tricky. Okay, so I have that. Let me get a baggie. Baggie it is. Ooh, this is a big one. And I have reused my baggies for years. There is no reason whatsoever that you should toss them, especially if you like making kits. Like, yeah, doesn't even really matter, but like I even put like all my receipts for my taxes each year on one of these giant baggies so I can keep it all together. So, oh, kit number seven. All right, let's see what kit number eight is. Let's see. Come on papers. I am still here. I'm just reaching across a bit. Okay, now these colors are a little different. I've got kind of this grayish. I've got the splashy like golden yellow as well as some mulberry. All right, so I don't think anything up there will work. Okay, let's start in our order. Let's start with our alphas because these colors are a little specific. Is this grayish? Now, see, this is picking up more of an elephant gray tone, but I do like it. You know, I'll leave it there in the event that I can't find anything else because it will work. It'll work, just not as great as I would like. like. I love the olive. I love the mulberry in this. But beggars can't be choosers. This is what I have, right? And I'm not going to go out and buy anything just to add to it. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Look, guys. All those colors are pretty much in there. I'm going to go with that one. So this is Paige Evans. Isn't it Paige Evans? Is it Paige Evans? Uh, it'll pop in my head. Okay, I like that. I like it because it's not super typical. Okay. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, yep, I can put these two in. I have these two little brads here. Great. Um, I can get this chipboard word that says love in here. Yes, yes. Uh, these gray colors are so specific. Anything with these? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I thought I'd be able to flip through that really quickly. So pretty. Okay, then, I have a, see up top here, I've been keeping one embellishment pack at a time out on my desk with the idea that it might inspire me to pull it in. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, should I go embellishment pack first? No, all right. Yeah, let's just go through some of these things first. See what might work. All right, cool. Might be a little Vicky boot in action here. That is a darker yellow tone. I'm not really feeling that for that. Nope. A lot of these will work and a lot won't because it's just, yeah, it's, it's such a bold color difference. And I have a lot of colors on the one page. So, I'm, oh, so very brilliant. Now, if I pull that, in this little weird bin I have, I saw two little rubber light bulbs. <laughs> is that the most random thing ever? Yes, it is. Those are by Felicity Jane, I think. So let's see. I'm not trying to bring in too much of that green. And remember, there's like two of the same packs in here. It's really a green green, and that's not what I'm really going for here. Kind of like that. See, I like that it's like a um, kind of a dirty teal kind of a thing. I'll bring that in. And this has more of a 
like that slightly vintagey kind of a look to it. So I feel like I can, um, you know, that's going to be one of my next ones I just leave out. I feel like I can use stuff like Vicky just a little bit better. All right, so I did get a few of the Vicky ones in there. Now, I would be shocked if I can get any of these travel ones, but... Hmm, no, yeah, well, just made a liar out of me. I got that arrow in. None of the coral, though. So, now, see, I like... You know what I like it for? The word awesome going like that, so I'll probably cut those banners off. Which is fine. See, that's making it feel like it's more brown and that's fine I can go brown with it doesn't bother me be who you are so that's bringing in more of the gold and the green that's cool good times yep so apparently we're gonna have gold in this it's a big giant photo corner that's like a light gray that might be easy to layer with another little arrow a gold teepee, which kind of works with the feathers, my friends. Hey, you never know when you open these things. The word yes, I like that. A little cloud. So cool. So actually I got 10 times more out of this than I had any idea that I would. All right, so I've got some really interesting die cuts. I like that. Now let's go through. What do we want to go through? Um these little bins real quick to see what else we might be able to get in there. So let me grab a piece of this because I already see some things I like. Remember this is just that packaging from something else. You know, these little sheets. So I don't want that. I do like the word yes. I like these in here. I don't need to bring in that extra color yet. So let's see. Oh, I can bring in the same star. I don't want to do yes again. Ooh, but I can bring in that the wood grain because I have wood grain. All right, so that got me somewhere. Any of these little critters? It's one of those things like some of these things makes me want to wait to see if I'm going to have like a dog or a cat layout. I don't know. Now these are pretty since I seem to be getting kind of excited about this aqua stuff. Oh, will this punch out? Oh, this is punching out. Okay, because I don't really like um, forcing vellum to work with me. There we go. I'm going to leave that black piece down there, A, because it's easy to use a black piece, but also because uh, I would never find it again. So I have those pieces there. Those are all vellum. So nice, like slightly see-through kind of touches. I think that would be awesome. I can use the word hello, which that's just vellum. I can punch that out too. Cool. Are these start or these little hearts punch out? Yep, that punched out. And that punched out. All right. That is kind of going awesomely. The circle punched out. Let me have another circle punch out if I can, because that will keep pulling it through. And if you can see here that these circles are the same as this washi piece. So I can just um, punch a tab out of that, which I would really like to do. All right, so I found those treasures. Let's see what else is in here. You just don't know till you go hunting, huh? I just liked so I have that and I like the idea and I have no idea if it'll work of this saying hello love on a title I mean how cute is that and then I have the alphas to do like a secondary um, like a little secondary title a subtitle yes that's what we call those let's see any of these little guys not really my vibe that is rose gold, which those have to go with wherever I have those um, tiny words put together on. There's not much left on there, though. Mm -hmm. ah, 
breads. Bready bread, bread, breads. I am going to pull a trigger and just put them all in there. I know that's a lot. I like this word easy to pull in some more of the black and black and brown together does not bother me at all. Doubt fuzzy socks will work, but it is the right tone and we will see what happens. And I've got this cute little leaf. Okay. I think these might've been citrus twist kits. Does that make sense to you guys? Oh, and look at, here's another rub on with um, some gold on it. Hmm. I like, yeah, I can save those. This is one of those things that would be great also to start one of the kits from. So I'm gonna put that on top, just like I did um, that other layout with all the chipboard, my first one. Okay, actually that would, nah, it would work-ish. How about these guys? Any of these guys? Nah, I like kind of the green thing I have going. Those are kind of like a coppery gold. And I have definite gold in here. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm, look at this gold squiggly guy. All right, we're bringing in gold squiggle guy. I don't want anything else on this, but I do like the gold squiggle border. And it has been kicking around for so long that it is crazy. Certain things you have to just kind of like start from those colors to make it happen. So that might be something really cool and really bright on that. I like that idea. Let's see. Anything else? Anybody else? Anybody? Ooh, this giant yellow and sign would work. These were also a hand-me-down from a crop I went to. And I think those were from Sarah Scraps as well, from like the stuff she put on the take table. Let's see, let's see. So specific, some of these things. <laughs> These are rub-ons, aren't they? Rub-on labels. They're in a gold tone. I'll put them in. I didn't buy them. They're hand-me-downs. I'll put them in. Nope. Can't believe they spelled perfect wrong. I know. Get over it. Oh, there's feathers. I'm going to put that in too. Okay. That is plenty. That is plenty from kind of a tricky color kit. It just grew ever so nicely. I have lots of gold. I have textural things. These are from the dollar store and they're like rubbery or something. It doesn't say what they're made from, but there's like owls and feathers and all that kind of stuff. And I have feather paper. So don't really know what this kit is going to end up being. I've got lots of different elements, but now, when I don't use like the little tiny bits, I will put them back in my container that is all sorted out by color so that I can see really easily to scrap. Okay, this is page kit number eight. And let's go ahead and pop them in. Pop them in. I wonder if I'll do a second set of page kits today. I'm having way too much fun with this. Okay, let's see what's next. Next. We're done. Let me grab it. One, two, three again. Okay. So, oh my, yellow again. Yellow, rose, corally, something, vintagey too. Hmm. Does that work? Look at that. Present and an awe. It's a little bit more orangey coral here. And then this over here is a lot more rosy. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So let's start with, we want to start with embellishments. I'm going to, I'm going to start with my, um, flat alphas cause I've been doing it. It's been working. So this has more of a cream dirty kind of a background to it. Wood grain always works. No, no, no. See, I got these once upon a time. I don't like them that much. Why do I think that? Because I've never used them. So it makes me think I don't like them that much. All right. I like 
that deep rosy color a lot. So I did that. It makes it like happy pink almost. I don't know. Although I won't see any of the um, white around it. So I think that might be okay. I don't usually get very far down into these um, alphas before I find stuff that I think will work. Let's see. That's a deeper yellow. It's me. Don't love it. Not for that. I got those in a, a Black Friday thing from Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Not this year, like the year before, I think. Could use a little useru on them. All right, things are not happening for me on this. Makes me think I should just accept. Or do I want to go with, oh, I want to go with black. Okay, so I have lots to choose from there, which is fine. Or is this too like, nope. I like that it's a cream background with that though. Oh wait, one more choice, one more choice. Way too orange. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, once again, our little washi hunt here. Let's go to this book first. I like that totally cute. This was the best ever. That's like red though. So funny. Pretzel thing. Don't get the pretzel thing. I am not getting the pretzel thing. Okay. So, so far I just have black and rosy coral, right? Is Oh, I think this is the same exact book. Well, look at that. So clearly I could use black. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even realize I had two of the same books. Okay, black is very easy to use with that. This is navy, not so easy. Might grab the two blacks. I mean, they're always just so easy. Okay. Black, black. Done. Done, done, done. Now... Now, I have a hinker to start kind of from an embellishment pack. Do we want to just... Oh, no, no, no. Remember, I was going to put those wherever I have my um, tiny words. All right. So, what do I want to start from? All right. Let's go ahead and start in here and see what I might be able to bring in going this way. Because I like... See, this is like happy, bright, perky. That's not going to work for this. I like to be able to bring in different colors and textures and like change it up as I go. So here's my title. Okay. So that is like too much of a, um, too much of a dusty rose kind of thing. No, no. I start from like an embellishment pack because these are so picked over maybe that kind of looks good with that one over there doesn't it but I already have all these puffies so okay let's work on an embellishment pack let's see what's in confetti and this is crate paper Let's get together. Oh my, titles, titles, titles. We have acetate, but the pink is too pink. I'm loving this little acetate birdie. I like that floral piece. I like that. I like the star. This is where it gets tricky when I don't have any idea what I'm scrapbooking. I know I'm not doing birthdays though, because I don't have any to do. Look at all these great acetate pieces acetate piece there. This is a bow in blue. Don't need to grab that. Love is sweet. Mm, yeah. Let's see. What other pieces are in here? Let's get together and hooray. Those are so cute. I like the vellum and another little vellum piece to go with it. So pretty. 
interesting to see what I come up with. And yeah, I like the idea that I could have banner pieces. Those could go with the flowers. All right, cool. So I guess we're gonna have Maggie Holmes confetti open now. I am cool with, okay. So this has definitely taken a nice strong direction. Let's see if there's any pieces in these that work. That's an interesting idea. I don't know though. Nope, nope, nope. These are like, yeah, these tones are just off, but beautiful. Just not for this. Okay, great, not a big deal. Let's see this little box, because I see some like deep corals, but I don't know how I, oh yeah. I feel really good about them actually. I didn't know how I felt, but now I do. Nope, not on the pink side though. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I have hot pinks and purples and stuff in here. Ooh. See, that looks like almost too whimsical with the, uh, with the scribbly bits because that's just so beautiful. But who knows if I'm gonna use those, right? Okay, so I did find some treasures in here. And I didn't that think I would. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I still have a random <laughs> navy card I want to use. Okay. Let me move my Maggie Holmes goodies, which I have like 5,000 of these little bins. Let me just put them in that so I can rifle through it nicer and you don't have to sit there and stare at my baggies. I know they're fascinating. Okay, there we go. Because I have a feeling some of that acetate and stuff is going to make its way. It's so beautiful, how could it not? Okay, these tones are just a little dark and dingy for it. Let's see if any of this will work. Nope. All right. That's funny. Present and an awe also works. But look at this. This is like yellow, yellow gold, and all of these are more of a champagne gold, so no. All right, so I have die cuts. I've got some puffy bits. I've got alphas, acetate, vellum. So now I think I'm comfortable going through these little bins and seeing what little bits will work. Now I'm happier about it get my scissors that somehow got buried. I do start with a fairly large area and it just goes away. All right, that is washy. Hmm, mm hmm Let me punch out this little washy little heart. So we have lovely, I like the little bow, that's cute. See if it wants to come out without much of an issue. Cute, I already did lovely. Those are cute. These are by Felicity Jane. And we already have those, okay. Um, Not really doing those colors and tones. No, no. Pretty though, pretty, pretty. Now, does See, this would work, this word cherish. Do I want to bring in the word cherish? You know, chances are I won't be able to get it on anything else. So let me move cherish down here with joy. I don't know what I would do with the word sing. None of us can sing. We sound like dying warthogs when we sing. But I'm gonna put these four little pieces down in the corner and see if any of them can make their way. Because that would be cool if something got used. Those were pretty cool hand-me-downs from someone. In all things. Let's throw the word all things find. I like this laugh out loud. I'm just using this piece that uh, all these stickers came in. No, 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 no. I, we, what? Cool, we're getting somewhere with that. 
Okay. That little chipboard heart color is good. Ooh, look at these. So, I will be super easy about it and just rip those right out. It's gold and the color's right. I wish these were right, but they're definitely not what I'm doing here. Let's see. Um, way too rosy, but beautiful. Hmm. Let me try popping that on. Only one thing from that. Too bright. That's what we can say about a lot of things. We can go, yes for this, no for that. More of this, less of that. Anybody yelling at me that I missed something yet? I bet you are. I mean, I would be. Do I have enough of these? Yeah, I have enough of like those puffy words and stuff. Oh, these hand-me-downs are giving me fits. I'd love to make one of those bright yellow flowers make their way onto something now. And none of those work. Okay, let me get, whoops. Sorry if I shook that. Let me see. Oh, I haven't been getting into this. This is what I meant by I was trying to put these tiny words with this because I'm going to use these tiny words with everything. I'm also going to, this is going to be my sticker book that I'm going to concentrate on while I'm making my kits. I mean, not while I'm making my kits, while I'm using my kits. I always like to have like, I always have like a small paper pad on my desk so that if I just need to punch something, I look there first. I like to have tiny words, one set, you know, all these little rules I have for myself. Like that by Vicki Booten, and I like that. Just nice little labely areas. I don't want to use those flowers with that, I don't think. They have all of these beautiful, beautiful Maggie Holmes, and I think they get to be the star of this show. I like this whole thing when I look at it, but I don't like the blue word, so like. When I do use it, I know I'm going to have like something over it and make my own little plan. It has like the silver holographic. I have to remember that. Alrighty. Ooh, does that work? This works. This works a lot. Okay. There we go. So I have all of that. I have double sided bits going here, which happens a lot with me. And the only thing we did not look at at this time is this. So I don't think pink is appropriate. Hmm. Might? Maybe? Me? Okay, I'll see if it can make its way on. No, 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 no. I keep trying to shove these onto everything. Let's just put a few of those on back in there. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe they can be flower centers or maybe the, I can punch little stars out of them. I have no idea. I think they're growing though. They definitely don't seem to be diminishing. All right. So, um, nothing left in my little black and white bin, which that's expected. Don't need anything like that. Anything yellowy? Nope. Nothing in there. All right. Not a big deal. So this looks like a very fun, unexpected for me, even though I made it, little kit, but lots of gold, lots of black. I'm a little conflicted about this because I'm not bringing in any blue and that's actually kind of coral. So yeah, that just got chucked. Okay. I was having conflict. All right. Let me get a baggie. Oh, this one is the kind that doesn't close on the top. We have all kinds all kinds. This is kit number nine. Kit number nine. Voila. See, I have these on my desk. I think I'm going to just make some, Ooh, that comes off. Yeah. That's not going on a scrapbook page. I'm going to make cards with those. 
Maybe if I have leftover bits, we'll see. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab my next one. And boy, is it lemony. So let's see what we have. We have lemon, lemon, lemon yellow. I think I already used this one. I have navy blue. I'm going to go like that because I'm not worried about bringing in, you know, the colors of the strips. And this really great mint, which is um, the same tones as these leaves, but, you know, different different variations on tone. Okay, so let's get our handy dandy ever so loved bin of stickers that does not seem to be going down, does it? Let me see. Why is this weird? Something feels weird. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's see. I can use white is a cop out to blue. I like the idea of white without black, if I did do white. Maybe shy away from black on this one. We'll see. Oh. Hmm. I like the idea of lemon yellow. Lemony, lemony yellow. So is that going to be like tone on two? Okay, I'm going to put both in because I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I have that. Now, random washies. Again, I think you guys have been to the party at this point. You know what I'm going to do, huh? Let's see. Is there anything left I can use? Not really feeling the pink. Unless I decided to bring in pink for a little pop because that all works. All right. I'm apparently feeling the pink. So we're going to be bringing in some of the pink shade, my friends. I don't know if we're bringing in the pretzel shade. We have that and that. Cool. Can be that quick. I'm telling you, the big decision-making process, you're like, oh, that's on there. That looks good. A designer came up with it. They know what they're doing, right? All right. Let's start here. Since now we're bringing in pink, let's just be intentional. I have a couple of those cute little, these are lime green, lime green, lime green, lime green. Okay, clearly I didn't go lime. So I'm going to put these in my little, oh gosh, they dropped, in my little green section in here. Because they might get a better chance of being used. And then I will put just a little gold one in and then I get to chuck that packaging. Okay. I don't have yellow. I don't have navy. Um, my greens are for the most part, much, much brighter than anything that I have going on in here. Cause it's like a minty color that I have here. Okay. We need coffee break. Mm. I get to get rid of that packaging too. Okay, so let's start with, I feel a little discombobulated at times. Okay, let's start with this bin and see what might work in here. Okay, so we have all of these really nice tones going on. Let's see if Vicki Booten is going to come to the rescue anywhere. Mm-hmm. I need a piece of wax paper, I think. I think I used up a bunch of my, and I just dropped it. Okay, let me go grab it. All right. I used up my, uh, my repurposed packaging kind of thing that I always use already, which is fine. That's cool. So a little butterfly makes sense to me with this cute little yellow butterfly. Not bringing in the hot pinks, not feeling it. Nope. Nope. I didn't think I'd be getting that far with this and that's okay. This is like overkill for this little tiny sticker book. Anything in there? That's a no. That's like, it has just like a little bit of a magenta vibe in it. Those colors just don't work. 
Now that yellow does right there, except for it's like more of a vintage kind of a color or, you know, it's like the cream base. And I just don't do too well with the mixing of that. Oh, but here's more Vicky, Vicky Booten. I should put it all together, which I will. Oh, I've got another butterfly. Cool. So it's obviously a second set of the stuff I have. Okay. Pretty. <laughs> it's going more towards blue. All of these numbers need to be used on one page. Like just some kind of a marking time or something kind of page. I don't know. Or where I pull page kits from that, which might be a fun way to do things. Like these are my embellishments I can't use. Like that I'm struggling to use. Let me make a kit around them. That would be the way I would want to work with that. I have all this flower market stuff. Oh, I can use that. I have just a few Project Life cards in all of this, so I might as well make a point to use them. That's more of the flower garden stuff. That is, yeah, a different pink vibe. Okay. Let's grab out these beautiful goodies. That is a little too rosy. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Too teal. Is it going to be one of those things that it's too this, it's too that, not enough this? This butterfly works. So I have different little butterflies. Orange butterfly does not get to hang out though. So these are like a Christmas collection. I really need to put them away in Christmas land, but let's see. I know I'm going to make a mess if I pull them out. So let's see. That piece works. These are cut aparts that aren't all cut apart, apparently. Let's see. That works. Is that navy? Um, or the black? No. Oh, I kind of like gray with it too. I think I like gray with everything. These coral colors are gorgeous. This might end up being a thing shortly for me to pull this out and put all the rest of the Christmassy things with my Christmas supplies. I think I like the idea of doing that. This one is amassing labels. I am cool with. I kind of like the slightly brighter um, pink with this too. All right, so I've got some labely bits. That's fun. Ooh, and that's pretty. So I have these different tones of that tone. All right, like that. Great, yet another set of embellishments that will be on my desk. Okay, but if they're on my desk, they get used. Those don't work, that doesn't work. Okay, all of this was from this kit, got it. Baby blue, which I love, it's just not working for this. Okay. No, too bright. The magic is in you. See, that's bringing this different color of blue in, and I like the idea that it's a really nice, I'm sorry, nice deep navy. Now, this is down to these two little green brads, so those are going to go into my green brads. And I actually, no, just a little bit off, but they'll get used if they're in there. Keep them from hiding out all the colors. It's kind of cool for this. Put that there. And then there is a cute little leaf. Okay. These are all going to go end up on one layout. And then the little bird and the star will end up on another. Just need something with a brighter hue. Nope. Nope. Isn't that like a crazy combination? Like the pea green with teal and navy. Hmm. 
And yes, I could use that word freedom. I wonder, yeah, I can use that word. Like I said, these are just from the dollar store and yeah, I don't feel like I picked them out. I don't know. Oh, these need to be trimmed. They are really thin and they're glittery. I like the green arrow that's in here, which does not go with this layout, but I like it. One of those things that I probably would like the pieces better separately than when I look at them all at once. All right, so that says freedom. I like that. I have no idea what it's for. I'm probably going to chuck the word prefect <laughs> when I get um, that arrow used on something. Okay. Just a little cup of coffee. That's cute. Look at that there. Cute. Now, I like the idea of cutting out the word live. I have a plan. I'm going to use this up real quick. These are both black, right? That is going to go into the red section of my bin. I'm not using the, these on this layout. I'm just showing you kind of a bit of a process. I'll reuse that packaging in just a minute, no doubt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put these pieces into the multicolor. This one into the red and these into, oh, is that black or navy? Oh, this is navy. So that gets to go hang out. Okay, just felt like I was keeping that around and it wasn't really being noticed because there's hardly anything on it, if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. All right, bright lemon yellow, navy blue. Ooh, look at this giant navy sticker. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. Okay, I can get this one off. That can be used. Remember, I told you these are just hand me done so these are kind of nifty. I do have washi, but I do like the idea of using a couple of these sticker strips. Let's see. Have that one. Get this one on here. Yeah, these are kind of cool. It's mimicking that a little bit, which I do not mind in the least. Those are cool. Okay, got some navy now. So can you even see where I am over here? You can't see where I am when I'm going through that. I'm sorry. Nope, nope, nope. I have the hardest time using these like crafting collections. I really do. I, I am going on a crop shortly, and that's going to be like my best bet. Okay, so that's the stickers that I found from those goodies. And I may need to bring in more stickers. We'll see. Trying to use what I have, you know, that whole thing, I always say. All right, let's see. It's the same navy. I almost want to put something else over that, though. Because that pink is, yeah, gosh, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I like it. Don't like it. I like it. I don't like it. It's one of those things. Now, how do we feel? Look at how this viney color is working with that. That's cool. Don't want to use black. Yeah, I don't like that one. I like it. Let's, let's rephrase. I don't like it for this. I'll pop in that yellow just in case because I'm using Vicky die cuts. So, okay. Nope. We'll have some choosing to do as we go. Definitely. Let's see if there's any. Let's see, that's a royal blue, which I love royal blue, but love is sweet. Well, you can't say that with lemons on a page. It seems a little hinky but I don't have a metal color, so I can look at a couple of these gold pieces. Laugh and cheer. And then we can throw this gigantic celebrate in there. 
so that's cool. Hmm. The only thing I'm not liking, I like this embellishment. I am not liking that circle. So it makes me think I'm going to punch out another circle and put it on top. Okay. No, 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 no to those. These are going to be too bright. Yeah, the tones are super bright in there. Hmm. They're just off in there, although I like them. Let's see what's in this little Felicity Jane bin. Nope. Some Felicity Jane cards. Oh, hasn't been easy. Jeez. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. So this is kind of repeating what I have up there. I'm going to keep all that together then. Cool. Do I want anything else? I looked through here. When I say here, I'm looking at this bin. I've looked through that. Hmm. Let's see. I'm looking. I have a bin over here of um, die cuts. I'm like, okay, should I pull in something else? That's too bright. It's going to be one of my next ones, though. I like it. Let's see. This is the Dear Lizzie line, and I really liked these. Oh, look, it's a little lemon. I can make that work. And it's a lemon with pink. That's a definite yes. That's, let's see what we have with this Dear Lizzie little set. Cute. It has navy. Oh my, look at this. These are working. Funny, funny. Sometimes you just need to be like a little bit reinvigorated. Be human to the fullest. That has the pink and the green. Your peach does not work. That does not work. Ah, random strawberries. The grass is greener where you water it. Well, yes. Okay. I am starting to get so many embellishments up here. It's kind of funny. Okay. I really liked how those die cuts ended up working out. Remember, I will bring enamel dots, mist all that kind of stuff in when the time comes. So, oh, and I also have these over here on my desk as like things to use or see if they work. There are a couple of Maggie Holmes little, um, like rub on roller things. This one just says polka dots on it. And this one says the little things over and over on it, I think. Just those little things that will be working as we go. So I have words and stickers and washi and all that kind of stuff. Oh, look, the other side of this says cheers to summer. So who knows how we'll use it, but there's a little, well, I think it's supposed to be a line, but we could call it a lemon for our purposes. Who knows? We'll see how it works. Don't know. All right, I have all of these goodies, and that is page kit number 10. And I have been talking off your ear off for far too long. So I will end this, and we will be back with five more before you know it. Goodbye, friends.